I know a lot of y'all are confused with this War of Underworld bullshit, but don't worry, I'm here to save y'all. Well, even though I already uploaded a video for War of Underworld, but it doesn't matter because this War of Underworld is a bit different since it's a guild event and stuff. So, yes, I uh, or we, we're currently ranked 71. So, you guys, you fucking slur tappers, you gotta work your ass off because what the fuck is it? Rank 71? Are you fucking kidding me? We want those rewards. Hold on, let me show you the rewards actually. Wait, what is this? No, this is not it. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you the rewards for rank 1 and and uh, yo, the guild that's rank 1, you guys are so fucking lucky because the rewards, holy shit, look at this, look at this! A thousand fucking cubes for the first guild, and then, like, we're rank 72 right now, so we go all the way down and we get the 100 cubes. There's a big difference between 100 and 1000, guys, so <laughs> let's go, we need rank 1, or at least, like, I'd say rank yeah between 11 15 is fine even 16 20 that's uh, fine too 350 cubes that's a lot so uh, but i guess it's super hard to get it am i right especially since we already have two inactive players so they're not even playing the event i don't know why so if you guys are watching this video go play the event right now are we come on seriously okay so uh, these are uh, the players and then whoa three inactives no wonder we're rank 72 right now, <laughs> holy shit. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So, if you watched my War of Underworld guide video thing, so you know what I'm gonna talk about. I'm just gonna talk about the same stuff, but I'm gonna add some more stuff that's only available for guild event. So, first, let's talk about the bosses. So, bosses spawn after you clear event quests. So, we have this event quest, two, three, four, five. So, have event quests. And the last one, obviously, has more chance of spawning bosses. So, you can, uh, like, it's a matter of luck. Like, if you're lucky, you'll spawn a boss. If you're not lucky, you'll not spawn a boss. And if you're super lucky you spawn a rare boss like this subtilizer so he's the rare boss for this event and if you're not lucky then you spawn either Bisago or DIL so if you have subtilizer then make sure to kill him or actually make sure to kill any boss because in this event hold on I'ma show you like we have boss levels so uh, at first you start with level 80 for Bisago level 80 for DIL and level 150 for subtilizer and then let's say I have Bisago I killed Bisago once as a discoverer, then the next time a Vestago spawns, he will have a higher level. So every time you kill him, he gets a higher level the next time he spawns, and he can go up to level 250. If you kill him at level 250, he won't spawn anymore, I think. Well, I'm not sure, but I think that's how it works. So every time you kill a boss, the next time you spawn that boss, they're gonna have a higher level, and thus they give you more rewards. So I recommend you just to spam Subtilizer for this event. Kill Subtilizer every time, try to spawn Subtilizer, and fuck him up, and he'll give you a lot of points and a lot of rewards. We also have these, so. Uh, for point reward that this is just in every uh, War of Underworld event not just the guild event so we have that we also have what else currency of course so we change medals you can get those medals so you can get them by uh, being picked as MVP so uh, you can have other players actually so we have unrescued over here so if you help unrescued players it doesn't consume any WP so usually WP is the thing that you consume for starting battles I guess but for helping uh, other players for the first time it consumes zero so uh, what I Ask you a little, a little bit. I recommend you to do is to just clear every uh, request and it will uh, like take you zero W points and just clear it with auto mode if you don't have time so clear everything and you might get picked as MVP and thus get uh, more medals you can also get medals by clearing missions yeah missions clear medals getting missions you get a lot of medals so you get all those and you can get also some cubes so you see here defeat Vesago level 220, 210, 230, 240, 250 wait I already killed Vesago 250 I guess I have the player because for these missions even helping a player clears the mission for you so if if you help a player that has a Vestago level 250 request, then you get the mission reward too. So that's very nice. And uh, also we have these uh, things. So they see that uh, monster thing uh, times 2. That means the rare boss has more chance of spawning. So Subtilizer has more chance of spawning in here. So I recommend you guys to always clear that quest if it's available. So it's available sometimes, sometimes it's not available. So always clear the times 2 uh, thing. Clear this and then start a boss battle and ask for requests. And since we have guild event, there's a new thing for guild, so if you help a guild mate for uh, the second time, I guess, because first time always consumes zero WP, second time, you can consume like two WP, but deal more damage to the boss, and that damage is fucking massive. It can go, like, if you use your incarnate, it can go to 100, like, 200k damage if you consume two WP, so that's very nice. Hold on, let's update, maybe there's a guild request thing. Let's check, hopefully, hopefully we do, because I want to show you guys uh, what you can do uh, in this video, exactly, and I don't think we have a guild request ah uh, feels bad man well anyway you can help your guild the mates always help them just because uh, you get more uh, points and stuff also always try to get 
best attacker because best attacker gives you the most points so every time like especially if you're the discoverer try to get best attacker like not even uh, ask for help until you beat the boss for 51% a more HP like uh, that's how you get best attacker you're sure to get best attacker if you deal 51% uh, of their HP and uh, that's it I guess so if you guys are confused about anything then you can ask in the comments and uh, I'll help I guess if I can because I'm also a bit confused about this to be honest with y'all but it's fine right yeah so we can get cubes MVP of course like uh, MVP use medals I already told y'all and uh, what else what uh, did I not talk about I talked about everything am I right oh yes you can't add the guild members if uh, there's an event going so right now I can't remove anyone from the guild and I can't add anyone so feels bad man look at this oh 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 Kirito crystals does that mean next event is gonna have a Kirito oh god are those spoilers guys next week we might get a Kirito because they're giving away Kirito crystals right now. Like, we don't have any Kiritos in the event or anything. Like, even recently we didn't get any Kirito banners, so that's a bit weird. Yeah, probably gonna get the Kirito. What is this? JJ Saptalizer request. So, yeah, we have the requests over here. Like, all the requests. Very nice. Confirm. Uh, maybe I can help or not. Like, I think the request is over. Like, once you beat the boss, the request is uh, gone. So that's obvious, am I right? And no, there are no guild requests, well, whatever, so I'll just go clear e the event. So what you want to aim for is just beating every boss until their last level. So uh, for example here, you beat the Stago level 250, the IL 250, and Saptalizer 330. And after doing that, you can say that you're done with the event, like you don't have anything to do. Once you do those, you probably have like uh, all the points that you need to get all the rewards. You have enough medals to exchange everything. So that's what you should do. And uh, that's it. The usual, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, ring the notification bell, follow me on Twitter. You can also add me if you want. And uh, I'm on the European server, by the way. So if you can't add me, that's probably because we're on different servers. And and that's it for today. Bye, guys.